my name is Jessica Turner, and I will be talking about goosebumps. Goosebumps, also known as chills, goose flesh, goose pimples. We've all had them one point or another in our lives. Um, but what are goosebumps? Goosebumps were designed to allow the body to respond to danger, instinct, and memory. I will explain some key triggers, how the body reacts chemically, and the history of goosebumps being used by our bodies as a defense mechanism. Have you ever been in a situation where you hear something that's not there, uh, when it's cold and damp outside, a nice fireplace is in order and you know, makes you feel warm and cozy? Uh, when you hear a song that triggers a sentimental memory, or are you just simply reacting to another's, another person's story of uh, hardship and success? There are many different reasons why we get goosebumps. I will go over just a few of the main reasons. One being temperature. If your body is cold and you have no way to keep yourself warm and insulated, then your body will do so by releasing adrenaline through your brain and causing your hair to stand up on the outside of your skin, causing a insulation, keeping you warm longer. Uh, another reason is strong emotions. If you've dedicated some type of song, smell, action, anything to a sentimental memory that may you may have suppressed and even though you don't remember it, your body does. And it will release the endorphins, also causing this physical reaction and causing you to get the chills and so on and so forth. Uh, and the other reason would be instinct. If you've ever been in a situation where you think something's there, it's not, or if you've had a gut feeling and you feel the chills go up the back of your neck and you have absolutely no idea why, it's your body's way, again, of just reacting to the situation that you are presently in. So, we all get goosebumps, but how do goosebumps work? What is the secret behind the physical phenomenon that takes, um, takes over our bodies and sometimes cannot be explained? A medical aspect is once stimulated by any of these causes or triggers, uh, the brain will release adrenaline and endorphins, which causes a brain reaction. Uh, the brain reaction occurs with triggers such as cold, emotion, instinct. Uh, it triggers a stimulus in the brain, and when the stimulus is, um, the stimulus is a bundle of fibers uh, that causes electrical and chemical signals to transmit sensory and motor information in the brain, thereby triggering a physical reaction. Uh, causing a contraction of little muscles throughout your skin, and these contractions of muscles causes the hair follicles to elevate uh, on the outer skin. Uh, these tiny elevations we perceive as goosebumps. Now that we know about our bodies, it's uh, time to discuss how the act of goosebumps was in play thousands of years before with our animal ancestors. Of all the types of animals that are presently on this planet. Land animals are the ones who utilize this line of defense more. Um, the purpose of the goosebumps of the animals is thought to be a method of defense. Um, an animal is aroused or provoked. Uh, the hair, it causes their hair to stand up on end over their entire body, creating an illusion of um, making them seem larger or more ferocious to predators, to ward off predators. Uh, so there are a variety of reasons and physical responses um, that occur with goosebumps, and now that we have a little more knowledge about them, you might think twice next time you actually have it occur. In conclusion, um, everything, whether you're keeping warm, you're warding off predators, uh, you're reminiscing or smelling grandma's apple pie, uh, your body will compensate by giving you goosebumps. And as I stated before, these are just a few reasons why but now that you have this information, maybe next time you will think about the situation you are in when this occurs, and it will not be unexplained anymore. Thank you.